All right, we're jumping to some of these music questions. What are your top fave artists or bands? Yeah, it's so hard to get That's to a tough one. Five. I mean, it's impossible. Uh, Jim, I'll let you start because uh, oh, this you. is such a hard thing. I mean, I, I'll say just growing up, I, I think a lot of this has to do with childhood. Like when you start yeah. to kind of discover the thing that you love and it may not be the thing you chose now, mm -hmm. but like when I was a kid, um, there was something about U2 that captured my imagination. U2, man. Yeah. I went to see U2 at the Sphere. My girl's a huge U2 fan. It was. Did I you like it? I, I, I had fun. I can't say I left a U2 fan. <laughs> yeah. It didn't seem like U2 was like the focus of it, which is crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's the, well, for me, what was interesting is that at the time, that was like, you know, I was sort of into met, like the metal stuff, you know, like uh, Bon Jovi and whatever. But like when U2, when I kind of discovered them and I like, it was sort of them and The Cure and REM all together kind of mm -hmm. mixed up. It was like this, it was like this genre of music that seemed a little bit more. I don't know, like authentic, less about what they were wearing and yeah, what, more heady. You know, yeah, more... just kind of like, and I think that was kind of my step into you know, you know, getting into more like punk rock bands like Fugazi and and bands that we loved when we started playing, um, and so that was just sort of like from a music from a, like a, a musicality standpoint, there was something about you two that like informed a lot of moving forward you know in terms of into that world of music rather than being just like a metalhead oh shit what about you brother i'd say jesus and mary chain would be up there mm. you know there's something like about their uh songwriting that like if you if you took away the layers of of just noise that they they'll they'll pile on it, it's a very simple beautiful like pop song almost like in a traditional kind of like really you know uh as basic as it gets but just the um, and for, yeah, and again, like like Zach said, I think a lot of it, you know, they're a group I discovered when it was kind of switching over from really caring about like guitar playing and and that you know really getting into guitar like shredding and stuff and they're like oh wait it can be like this mm -hmm. totally just change the perspective yeah on music yeah like perspective shit. changing yeah like musicians and, and artists yeah that's the same thing I was like I was saying about MF Doom like when I first heard him I was like you can do that right and even it, like you say with the same thing I was I remember when I was in jail and I would just have my um, brother um he would um go on the internet and just print out MF Doom lyrics to me and I remember just being in jail and reading them and it was starting to like open up a whole new world for me because it was almost mm -hmm. like I was like I wasn't reading rap songs it was like literally like I said like every song for him was almost like a book like a novel it was like I was reading fucking books and shit that was my books and it definitely, it, like I said, it changed my whole perspective on on how to write a song, you know? Because you know with rap music, it's always trying to be cool, I'm a fuck your bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's just just too much of that, you know, where I was we like, We need to no. do more of that stuff, man. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe you could help us with some lyrics, man. No, man, I'm past that phase now. Like, even now, I mean. Can you imagine, like, a, like a heavy metal, like, song where it's just like, I'm the best. Yeah. No one can shred like me. Whoa! Like, like, I don't know. Like, that's, I feel I like, know, like, that's my thing for everything. Is just isn't like, that, isn't oh. that like, isn't that like, isn't that like disturbed basically? Like, I think they're kind of, I used to Maybe always feel like, yourself. um, like Guns N' Roses was kind of like gangster rap a little bit too. Totally. Me. Something like, you know, for some reason, like, they just had that vibe. I just got that vibe for them. Yeah. 